All right, hey out there gardening friends, this is Kathy the Neighborhood Gardener back again with another video. Today I want to do a quick video uh, and this is on indoor plant stands. So a couple of weeks ago I put a video out there about making plant stands out of a tree limb for my outdoor garden and so today I thought I would show you how I have made some indoor plant stands out of just scrap wood that I had laying around. Actually, I, I have to give the credit to a friend of mine, Denny, a few months back. He had some scrap wood laying around in his garage and he made this for me. So let me show it to you. He just had some a little bit of scrap wood laying around. He glued them together and then just put some little peg legs on them. And what a cute little plant stand. So thank you, Denny, I have this out of my porch. Anyway, so that inspired me to use what I had laying around. So some of the wood left over from that potting shed project, I think this, what, is this a one by four or something like that? I'm not really good with measurements or anything like that. But anyway, just a scrap piece of wood that was laying around. So uh, I took and cut them to the size that I needed them. If you don't have a saw, let me just tell you, you could bring a piece of wood that you have over to, I think it's either Home Depot or Lowe's, I think it's Home Depot, and they'll cut it to size that you want it. Or you, if you don't have any scrap wood laying around, you can just buy a cheap piece of board over there and let them cut it to whatever size you want. So this is what I did. So I had several uh, heights that I needed. So this was just, I don't think I have one of those. Anyway, let me show you what I did. All you need is some wood glue. Any kind of wood glue will do you. So what you do is you take and you just cut your sizes, you use the wood glue, glue them together, that's all that is, and then you let it sit overnight, put some weight on it so it is uh, nice and uh, pressed together, glued down really well, and you can use different sizes. So I have that, I have uh, different sizes actually. This was, I kept this a little longer because I needed a, a wider base here or a longer base for a plant stand. So same thing, just two blocks of wood that I wood glued together. And then what I did, um, the only other thing you need after that, you need your hot glue gun, you need some rope or whatever it is that you're gonna use to align your plant stand with. This is just rope I got at the hardware store and um, so that is basically it. You can get it in different sizes. This is one that I just was starting here to show you. Smaller size, whatever you want to do. So quick, I'm not going to do the whole thing for you here, but basically I just want to give you the idea if you're not handy with glue guns or whatever. All you're going to do with this is you're going to take this, you're going to put a bead of glue I hope you can see that just put a bead of glue all the way down and then you will just take and start wrapping this around just put it on the glue hold it down make sure it's firm Martha Stewart taught me a trick always have a bowl of ice water when you're using hot glue so if you burn yourself which I have you stick your fingers in the ice water and it takes it right away. So basically that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna take this and you're gonna wrap this whole block. Just keep gluing and wrapping, gluing and wrapping. And this is what you'll end up with. So this is one of the um, stands that I made. It, this was the thicker rope, I'll show you that. And um, you can do whatever you want. You don't really have, you can paint it, you can stain it, whatever you wanna do with it, or leave it just natural is fine, because your plant is gonna be sitting on it. You're not gonna be seeing this part anyway. This is just to lift it up to give your plants the different heights that they need. So um, this is one that I did in the jute, and I like that natural look, the natural jute, cool looking. Anyway, same thing. I leave mine just bare wood because you're not going to see them. I have another piece of uh, board that we had. And all we did with this, I'm probably going to stain this one. But uh, we just took, let me see if you can see, we just angled off the edges. I have this great woodworker who lives next door to me. She's got all her woodworking wor tools. And she'll... She helps me with just about everything that I need, and I appreciate her. Uh, the Rusted Woodshed. 
I believe that is that neighbor's name. Anyway, so this, I will just stain this and it will be a nice little plant stand. It makes for a base. One other thing that I'll show you that I did here, I needed a really tall, let me bring this closer. I needed a really tall stand. And so uh, this is what I did. I just took a lot of these smaller size wood blocks, glued them together, and then this is actually a sheet. It looks like, uh, looks more nautical than anything, but it, it's a sheet for, it's, that is the uh, width of the sheet, and I just took it and wrapped it around. I think I bought that at Walmart, I think. Anyway, I just wrapped it around a few times, and it is really a cool looking, it's got a good texture, and, and that's the whole thing about it when you're decorating. You want different textures, right? This worked out really well for this plant because it was very bushy on the top. This is my rabbit's foot fern. Let me show you real quick. I think it looks more like a tarantula than a rabbit's foot. Look at those legs. Is that not the coolest thing? My daughter has arachnophobia. She does not like looking at this plant. Anyway, perfect. So there you go. Scrap wood laying around. Use what you have. I will uh, give you a quick look at how I have used some of these stands and how I've tiered my plants with. So that's it. Just a quick little video today of how to help with um, arranging your plants if you're going to be decorating with them inside. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you in some way. So I appreciate you watching. And again, if you like it, please like it and subscribe if you liked it. Uh, it's a nice little relaxing afternoon project. So anyway, I hope you all have a great uh, weekend out there and enjoy. Thanks for watching.